In today's video, we're going to be exploring tracking and kerning within graphic design and how they are different and exactly what you need to know about tracking and kerning for your very own typography. Don't miss out on today's valuable tutorial. So first looking at kerning, which is the adjustment of spacing between two individual letters. Now this can of course be applied to an entire word or a sentence, but it is manual adjustments of negative space between each letter as a means to make the typography either more legible, visually appealing or both. Now you can see in this first VAW example, the kerning is quite widely spaced apart and the second example on the right has a poor kerning because it appears unbalanced. Some changes here have ensured a tightly packed kerning option. Now you need to consider how tight or how wide the kerning should be for your designs. You need to consider this especially for logo type. And making two different options is a good idea. One for a small scale print and one for a large scale print. So in Illustrator, you cannot use an automatic kerning option. But there are some presets you can use, but I suggest you should always manually kern your typography for headings and logo type. Now to do this, create the outlines of your text in Illustrator and then ungroup the selection. It's then just a case of nudging the characters left or right and I like to zoom out often so I can get a better feel for the overall kerning or sometimes I unfocus my eyes so the negative space becomes more obvious. Another method is to hold down the shift key and rotate the typography 180 degrees upside down. The meaning of the text is now lost, which allows some designers to focus more on the kerning itself rather than the actual wording. Now here is the Amazon logo, which by default has some pretty decent kerning. I've gone ahead and made some minor adjustments below to make a kind of more poor kerning choice. They are minor adjustments, but see if you can relate to how the second option looks worse than the original. Now the final trick for kerning is to actually kern your word or sentence in groups of three characters. Again, this takes away the meaning of the text, but also it allows you to focus on a smaller group, which can be easier for some designers. You then bring them together at the very end to form your sentence or your word. Now kerning is not an exact science, but you just need to adopt an eye for good spatial awareness between the characters of the typography. So moving on to tracking, which is often confused with kerning. Tracking is the adjustment of spacing between an entire word, sentence or paragraph as a whole. Equal adjustments will be made and thus it's not a manual process as with kerning. You have less control over the spacing and for this reason it's often used for large blocks of text such as in magazine articles. Now in Adobe Illustrator you can adjust the tracking here fairly easily. It is also okay to use tracking the headings and titles but we're going to come to that soon. There is a keyboard shortcut in Illustrator for increasing or decreasing the tracking by 20 points. And that is the Alt Option key and then just nudging left and right on your keyboard. To show a very quick example of how tracking could be used for a design, let's have a tightly packed Satori here. And then let's increase the tracking on the word graphics below, which is going to offer some nice contrast visually speaking. And again, there is no science to this and this is a quick example, but it is possible to quickly use tracking illustrator for such designs. However, I personally would suggest manually kerning any kind of logos every single time because it's more precise and you have more control over the final outcome. So like I said, 
tracking is ideal for large blocks of text on magazines or kind of other editorial designs. You want the text to be legible and so the smaller text at the bottom here would do well with greater wider tracking than the larger group of text above. These are some things that you need to think about when tracking, but another thing to consider is that tracking is font dependent. Now, what do I mean by that exactly? Well, here are two different words and they both have the same value of tracking, which is zero. If I adjust the top text option to minus 50, then we can see a more similar spacing between both text options. So there was today's video on tracking and kerning, and if you want to keep expanding your skills and your awareness as a graphic designer, be sure to subscribe to my channel for weekly graphic design content. If you want to help my channel grow, please do like this video if you found it useful, and also share it to somebody else who might benefit from it too. And of course guys, until next time, do design your future today. Peace.